Gambians continue to encounter daily power outages and erratic electricity supply, affecting business, homes and communities, with just about 60% of the population having access to energy services. A measly 20% constitutes rural access to electricity, but government has refocused efforts to expand and improve the national grid. A local development advocacy group, Mbolo, has been leading the green energy agenda to enhance production in the community of Tujereng through a self-help project dubbed Fandema. Like other communities in the coastal area, Tujereng village also faces massive challenges in erratic electricity supply and frequent outages, with some parts of the community still lacking access to power. But the Mbolo energy scheme could change all that as it moves to train villagers in solar installation. Young women between the ages of 15 to 35, including school dropouts, are now being granted the opportunity to learn new skills in renewable energy production. Trainees here are being taught to install solar panels using sun and wind energy as sources to channel electricity for the community. All the activities here at Fandema are powered through renewable energy making use of natural resources, the initiative has cross-cutting impacts on the economy with a massive potential to mitigate the effects of climate change. Access to energy in our country is a big problem because the way we generate it is from fossil fuel. And then we use a um, mechanical generating system through a bigger generating system which really consume high fuel and then the low fuel too. And we are not rich. We are in a country that we are not rich in those kind of resources. So it means it has to be imported. So that importation is really costly. And then when you look at the environmental wise too, uh, we are polluting. We are doing our quota in time of en environmental degradation. The group's biggest installation was done at the Medical Research Council in Fajara. Solar installers here are all young women who built a major installation of 565 kilowatts peak on the research center's power grid. With support from the EU and other partners, the community-based organization is now able to supply the Tujeran community with energy and at the same time contribute to their economic productivity by installing solar panels at the community market where women vegetable growers and sellers market local products daily. Only few homes were fortunate to access electricity in this area, but the Fandema initiative is quickly changing that with installations for more families in the community. By then here, um, the electricity did not arrive, you know, we are the first, you know, um, a small entity uh, called Molo when Fandema was here, uh, was powered by solar energy. At night is the only place that is, you can see light all over. So it's just like, you know, New York in this village. The students are being trained by one of the ex-students at Fandema, which engages its graduates in the revolving program. The pre-installation briefing is essential before these young women embark on any project. Not everybody has been graduated from a senior school. Some of them cannot read and write. But when we try to explain the diagram to them, for them to have the idea, it will help the trainer and the supervisor who is going to do it, and the trainees also, it will help them also. This is the reason why it's important for Fandema, any installation that we are going, we interpret the diagram to them. The briefing is a usual routine before any installation preparing the teams for the complex tasks at targeted sites. Now this you see is going to take six solar panels and for safety reasons they've made it as such so that it will be kept tight in there and will not be easily removed. And the little stand you see there was also made by them for the solar batteries. Everything is set and packed, we'll be heading down to the site for the installation. These young women are now experts in solar installation, with the project enabling students to solely design and install the grid here. After wrapping up installation works at the site, beneficiaries expressed immense gratitude for the initiative as they look forward to a new moment without intermittent outages and erratic electricity supply. <laughs> on and off, on and off, 
There is inconsistency in the power supply, which sometimes results to the pricing of our food items. But the solar is essential in maintaining consistent power supply. I'm truly happy about the work of Fandema. The opportunity to learn new skills brings immense joy for these students, who emerge from the program with a great sense of purpose after gaining expertise in what is still a male-dominated field hardly engaging women and school dropouts. They say, I'm a woman, I cannot do this kind of job because if I get married, I will get married and get pregnant. I cannot be continue climbing on top of the roof. So I ignore their words, I continue on my course. At the Mbolo Group, that effort continues on the major scheme to empower women. The organization's representative says more collaborative efforts are needed to realize universal access to energy, especially in grassroots communities. When the government of the Gambia um, were invited through the NAWEC, when we are building up the power station, we got two engineers from them. They've really seen that the possibility of you know, having a big activity like this, you know, it's a very um, added value to whatever activity they are doing. For instance, not going to buy heavy frail and then use the uh, rainbow energy. So they were inspired and then they also had to do a pilot project. On the national front, the government is aware of this need and officials understand that the work to deliver full access to energy demands strategic partnerships and green programs to attain universal access by 2025. Well, as we speak, we have about close to 20% for rural access, um, which is not good enough. Um, because of that, uh, NAWEC is currently implementing a number of access programs for um, both the GBA and the rural communities. Um, we are implementing um, access program under the Gambia Electricity Modernization and a project called JAM. Uh, which is funded through the World Bank with support from the EU and the EIB. So um, a number of communities are earmarked to be electrified and we are targeting almost 685 communities uh, on the JAM and also under the World Bank ECOWAS um, access program. Environmental precautions are a vital part of works here, with officials looking for a greener impact through energy efficient installation setup with minimum harm to the environment to reduce climate change. Those issues that I've enumerated, you know, that we need to do, one, clean energy production for our growing industrial uh, needs as well as our livelihoods, number one, and number two, the way we do our food production to be able to achieve our food self-sufficiency that we are driving towards need to all be environmentally friendly and whatever development blueprints, development programs we put out there have to make sure that they are sensitive to these uh, environmental uh, goals. All the energy strides in the Gambia include the introduction of sustainable cooking stoves as part of efforts to mitigate climate change, building the resilience of local women and vulnerable groups. The Ministry of Petroleum and Energy has been at the heart of this implementation, bringing sustainable cooking methods for local communities. We are embarking on the proliferation of domestic cooking, improved cooking stoves that we will be distributing across the country. They use less fuel, uh, fuel wood and that also will help combat deforestation. You know, which is one of the you know, climate mitigation strategies. We are also working on these green mini-grids we call, where the villages that could not reach the grid, we make sure that they are also electrified through that green mini-grid. We call them green mini-grid because we are going to use energy transit, greener energy solutions. And whilst officials renew their commitment in attaining universal access to energy by 2025 via various partnerships with the AU, EU and the African Development Bank, such local efforts have been crucial in driving a multi-sectoral approach in the region's quest to attain affordable and quality energy. The OMVG project is another targeted game changer that stands to embolden the Gambia efforts to attain 100% electricity access by 2025.
However, the sustainability question begins at the community level and organizations like Fandema are clearly setting the pace in green transitions, lighting up the future for grassroots communities.